Bo Shrek, guys. Hey, thanks for dropping by. So every year in October, actually, check that. For the last three years in October, like many or a few, I do a 31-day horror marathon, movie marathon. Um, this year, well, in 2018, I decided to do something different. I decided to go back to the roots and, and check out black and white. So it was 31 days, straight up black and white movies, no color. And in that process, uh, what I did was I, I went to several of my current titles that I already own, such as the universal titles like The Wolfman or Frankenstein, and vice versa, and watched a few of them, not all of them, because there's many titles in there. Um, but I also went to uh, Turner Movie, Movie Classics and, and uh, Silver Screen Classics and just PVR, 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 all these movie posters that I thought were interesting and related. In that process, I finished my 31 day black and whites, but what I did discover was, of course, there was this color ones that I could not watch yet. I would watch in November, but not in October because it strictly was black and white. But in that process, I discovered um, Hammer Films. Now, I heard of Hammer Films. Um, the first time I heard of that was The Woman in Black, Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe, um, returning back to the Hammer Studios, but that was to the extent of it. And um, it was interesting. I'm in my 40s, and it was very interesting because watching these Hammer films now, um, you know, this is where Christopher Lee and um, Peter Cushion, Tarkin, um, got their start. And, and they've been excellent movies. Back to Peter Cushion. I mean, up until last year, October, um, all my life, I've known him as Governor Tarkin, and only in that singular role. Um, after watching a handful of Hammer movies, um, I now define him as uh, Van Helsink and uh, Doctor Frankenstein. Um, he's been uh, excellent in in movies such as um, Frankenstein Must Be Destroyed, The Curse of Frankenstein, and many, many, many more titles that I cannot name. Um, so, which leads me now to my recent purchase, DVD purchase, it's not a Blu-ray, uh, I just went out and got this one, it's called Hammer Films, Four Creepy Classics from the Hammer Film Archives, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, which I saw actually, I, that's one of the ones that PVR'd, Scream of Fear, no idea, The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll and the Gorgon, now these three titles I have not seen, so I'm looking forward to uh, watching it, and um, so I'm going to be unboxing this one. So those are curious in the hammer ways. So let's get out my trusty X-Acto knife and make that incision like Dr. Frankenstein would. All right. All right. this insert right here oh wow please like and subscribe thanks Bo Shrek Bo Shrek that's me guys take some time to appreciate this illustration that I uh, drew for you there you go so let's have a look inside so this one consists of the two faces of Dr. Jekyll and the curse of the mummy's tomb. And this too consists of the Gorgon and Scream of Fear. Now, I do not know if they're black and white or color because, well, I know that the mummy is in color, but um, the other ones, the other titles, I am not too sure. I guess we'll figure that out when I watch it. But um, there you go, folks. Um, again, for for those for those of you who have some patience, um, uh, maybe you're you're done with the horror movies of today. I'm still not, but and you just want to go explore and uh, you know discover the old stuff. Uh, I've been doing that a lot, and I I have discovered many things. Um, and um, another thing here here's a little tip. Go, go into YouTube and watch, do a search for The Phantom Courage, no, The Phantom Carnage slash 
The Shining. Um, as I was watching this 1912 movie, it's a silent movie, um, there was a certain scene that um, I'm like, hey, hold on a second, that reminds me of The Shining. Um, so I did a little check and I looked and I'm like, bang on, scene for scene, there's there's this one uh, comparison uh, and I was quite amazed. And those are the little things that, again, if you have the time and the patience, uh, you can discover. Um, again, just exploring the world of black and white horror, classic horrors from the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 70s. That's it, guys. Hey, thanks so much. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.